Now, disappointing news for football fans here in Korea. Tuesday evening's highly anticipated World Cup qualifier between South and North Korea is unlikely to be televised live. However, the game is on and the South Korean squad is on their way for their first inter-Korean game to take place in Pyongyang in nearly 30 years. Lee Sing Jae reports. The South Korean national football team, who left for Beijing on Sunday en route to Pyongyang, were greeted by football fans prior to their departure from Incheon International Airport. Korea Football Association officials, including KFA President Chung Mong Gyu, were also seen wearing the same jacket as a squad. On the chest, South Korea's national flag, the Taegukki. On the back, and in English, Korea Republic. According to the KFA, the outfit was designed especially for the match in Pyongyang to emphasize the nation. But for the players, winning the match is the only thing on their mind. It'll be difficult. Artificial turf isn't easy, but we'll cope and come back with a victory. The match in Pyongyang will be a unique experience for the players. There will be no South Korean cheering squad. The teams will play on AstroTurf, and the South Korean players have to follow regulations related to the UN sanctions on the regime. They prohibit athletes from bringing mobile phones or tablet PCs into North Korea. While swapping jerseys at the end of the match is tradition in the sport, since South Korea's kit is made by an American sporting brand, this too will be forbidden. But some of the players welcome the restrictions. We can't even have books. I think it's good. Players will have more time to talk, and we see it as a positive. Despite the match being the first of its kind in 29 years, football fans will not be able to watch the match live. North Korea hasn't answered South Korea's calls to allow civilian spectators, journalists, and broadcasting crew into the North Korean capital for the match. Barring a dramatic last-minute development, the South Korean national team will likely compete in a hostile environment with tens of thousands of North Korean supporters in the stands, but no South Korean fans. With no live broadcast, fans in South Korea will have to follow the match via online commentary on the FIFA or Asian Football Confederation websites. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.